is the mind actively supporting practices that lead to suffering? Um, this is the great delusion, the great ignorance, is that we believe that things will lead to pleasure and bliss that actually lead to greater suffering. For example, we think, oh, of course I deserve to be, uh, that person deserves my anger. How dare they have done this? Of course it's justified for me to slap them right now. They deserve it, and we do it. But then later we see that our mind tricked us. Actually, they didn't deserve it, and we shouldn't have behaved like that. And so what is that? That's called ignorance or delusion. And that's the uh, main thing in Buddhism that we're trying to, when we say purify, we're trying to clear that away. And we can do it through raising our understanding, raising our motivation. And that's what really, what we're doing in bodhicitta practices, what we're doing with the bodhisattva vow, is we're raising that energy that it would allow us to go beyond confusion and see our own mind. Why does the mind does that, do this? It's caught up in a fundamental conviction that's wrong. It's totally based on misunderstandings of reality and misunderstandings of ourselves. And as long as we have those misunderstandings, our mind goes in confused directions and rehearses confusion and strengthens confusion. And so the wheel of karma keeps going and going. So it becomes really imperative that we develop clear understanding that we develop clear seeing, and that's what the Buddhist path focuses so rigorous, rigorously upon.